My name is Kian, and I would say that my experience as a black person has always been intrinsically tied to my experience as a person of mixed race. My dad is a black Jamaican man, and my mom is a French Canadian woman. And it's been very interesting growing up, learning what it's like to be both of those. And I am both despite the fact that sometimes people and society tend to think or to act as if I'm only one or the other. So I grew up being raised by my mom in a predominantly white neighborhood. And because of the color of my skin and the difference between that and my environment, I've always felt black. I was probably only 10 or 11, the first time a kid asked me if I curl my hair. And I suppose it might be a bit hard to imagine now, I'm not exactly uh, running with a mini afro anymore, but no, my hair grows kinky. Um, but at the same time, on the opposite end of things, um, it was only a few years later that a classmate saw my mom picking me up from school and made a joke the next day that I must be adopted, considering that I don't look anything like her. I found that the adult world isn't much different. It's just the things people have to say are more subtle. No longer do I get comments that my skin is so nice and tanned, but thankfully not too dark. Um, instead, I now just get jokes that I must be the ideal job applicant because I'm just colored enough to check off a quota. Um, nobody ever jokes with me anymore that I'm speaking white. Now, instead, it's become more appropriate to somehow say in the highlight when I'm sounding like rapper X, Y, or Z. And what a lot of those commenters don't seem to realize is that I exist in both spheres always. If your underhanded compliment is a celebration of my color, but is simultaneously an insult to my blackness, I won't take that well. I do find, however, that things are improving, if not slowly. Um, the closer and closer we get, the more the mysticisms around race and ethnicity are slowly dispelled. Like so much else, dialogue is key. So long as I don't need to play the guess where the ethnically ambiguous person is actually from game. I love having discussions about my blackness and about mixed race identity. I love who I am. I love what I am. And obviously then, I love sharing that. So today in Canadian Black History, I decided to speak about the Dawn Settlement. So often when we think of prominent Black communities in Canada, we tend to only think of Africville, the famous town in Nova Scotia. But there were so many other important Black communities in Canada, including the Dawn Settlement uh, in what is now Dresden, Ontario. Founded in 1842, the idea for this place uh, came from the mind of Josiah Henson, a man who had escaped slavery in the US. He wanted to establish a place where other escaped slaves could go and find land, food, shelter, clothing and work, and really any other basic necessity. With some support, Henson managed to create the settlement and also build a school named the British American Institute. Open to 
all ages, the school doubled as a place to train teachers, but also provided general education and trade and labor instruction to those in the community. In time, members of the community actually managed to grow wheat, tobacco, they built a sawmill and a grist mill to remain self-sufficient. According to the Canadian Encyclopedia, as many as 500 people lived there at its height, but many moved or returned to the US after the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863. This, coupled with financial and administrative issues, caused a decline in the settlement. Josiah Henson and his wife, however, stayed in the Don settlement for the rest of their lives. For more information on the evolution and decline of this important community in our history, check the links below.